recently we have uh, fitted an aeration system here uh, to the system on, on this pig unit uh, for, for the lagoon and I suppose uh, the customers relate to us here that it's the first year really that he has had uh, consistent slurry the whole way through because of the, the type of it even he was mixing it uh, with a propeller mixer uh, because it separates out so quick by the time the lagoon's empty it has separated again so defeating the purpose but the, the bubbler system with the control panel we can have this we can switch from automatic to manual and have it running consistently all day whilst he's pumping out as well. The customer put a concrete floor uh, into the lagoon so for us to fix the pipe work to. Okay is that on top of the That's the on line? top of the line. Right? Okay. Now we don't need to do the banks we just need to do uh, the floor and because as it lowers down the the pipe work on the floor will keep it all all mixed. So the control panel has a PLC involved in it here, so whatever system we wanted to add on in the future, what this customer is doing, uh, we're add, adding on uh, another 42 circuits onto an underground storage tank for them. And this, we will be moving uh, this blower and control panel over here to, to a different situation so that it can cope uh, and has the ability to, to mix the, it all. So what kind of functionality have you in the box so, here? So the, 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 the basically, if, uh, if the customer wants, we have a multi-tank switch there, so that if he just wants to mix the lagoon and not the underground storage tank, he has the multi-tank switch. If a customer was to have anywhere up to maybe 10 tanks, and he has five empty and five full, you, know, you can set so it up to, out, to mix that, so he, he has that option to, to do that with the okay. multi-tank switch. Okay. You also have the manual and automatic right. there to run on. Right, there and just yet? Yeah. So this stores the data as well for your running times and as well and it gives you the, the ability there because of the, the rise in the, in the cost of, uh, of electricity there that you can you can run it at the optimum times to suit your the, the needs on the farm. Can you can you remote into that and, and manage it remotely? You can you can do if you need be, yeah. Okay. With the PLC allows you to do that. Right. On this, on this stainless steel manifold, uh, we work then with our, our stainless steel solenoid valve, which opens up to, to open to uh, to run one one circuit. So basically, one circuit is running about 20 square meters uh, in in the lagoon. So, uh, and then one sequential once it stops one section, it moves on to the next, and so on and so forth, and moves its way around till it's finished. Okay. And so each circuit's running three minutes at a time. Okay. So Jason, we're standing on, I suppose, phase two of slurry storage and future housing, I guess, here as well. Yeah. So I suppose it's the ability of the existing infrastructure or the existing air, um, aeration system yeah. to work this here. So this, uh, this is a, a very large storage, underground storage tank here, which a uh, customer has uh, put concrete slabs on top of here. So uh, our system uh, has the ability to mix this as well. So what we'll be doing, we'll be adding on uh, to the existing system which is in the lagoon uh, so that uh, uh, it'll be run so he's saving the cost there of a blower in the control panel and uh, that'll that'll allow him that it has the same consistency and basically the whole unit